Hey guys, I'm myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And as expected, Apple today released yet another beta for iOS 15. We're getting really close here to the end. iOS 15 developer beta 7 was just released today. Now, public beta testers, this should populate for you within the next 24 to 48 hours. And as you can see, the software updates are continuing to get smaller with each beta. This one coming in at approximately 600 to 700 megabytes. That's always going to depend on your device and the software that you're up updating from of course and in this video we're going to go over some of the latest details within the latest beta now i also want to mention that apple continues on a weekly release schedule this one was released eight days after beta 6 so beta 7 eight days later so apple continues on a weekly release schedule uh, give or take a day or two so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the latest new features and changes within the software and there's a clear indication that this software is almost ready so an rc could be releasing here soon you can see there that the build number ends with the letter a that's a clear indication that the software is almost ready to be released to the general public so the build number is 19A5337A now there's one thing to note here as well that Apple also released additional software as per usual of course iPadOS 15 and developer beta 7 is available for registered developers tvOS 15 beta 7 is out and of course watchOS 8 developer beta 7 has been released by Apple as well and I do want to talk about a few things that are server side these are not pertaining to iOS 15 and beta 7 but Apple did update the maps application to introduce ratings and photos as you can see here improve uh, the maps also have serious suggestions and communication safety this is the new splash screen right here so let's go ahead and take a look at the maps application here quickly and let me show you how to use that and again this isn't particularly new uh, with beta 7 but it's something that apple announced over the weekend and i wanted to share with you guys right now you can now rate a place and you can also add a photo so as you can see right there apple has now added those new features to the maps application so let's go ahead and take a look at something that is new within the latest beta and apple continues to hold on on some features that are expected for ios 15 yet again at the icloud private relay this one is now in beta so it is expected to launch with ios 15 if we head on over here into settings iCloud settings, we should find under iCloud, right there it is, private relay. It says that it is in beta. So Apple will be releasing this uh, particular portion of the software here within a beta stage, even, even after the release of iOS 15 is what I'm hearing here. So of course, Apple is testing this because this can cause uh, additional steps to log in to certain websites, of course, and this can also cause certain websites to not uh, populate or show uh, information properly because Apple is continuing to test this feature within iOS 15. Now, something really cool that I want you guys uh, to know that Apple introduced a brand new downloadable wallpaper. So let's head on over to Safari here. And on the Chinese Apple website, you can now download a new wallpaper here, which looks really cool. You have the Apple logo, and in the background, you have like stars. This is to celebrate a new opening here. So you can download it. I'll link it in the description. It's a really cool wallpaper. I'm currently using it here on my iPhone. As you can see, it looks pretty dope here. So, so far, those are some of the changes that I wanted to share with you guys within the latest beta. Of course, if Apple continues on a weekly release schedule, we should see another beta, maybe September 1st, coming up here with in a week keep in mind apple is on a weekly release schedule but take away a day or two or give or take a day or two here and apple will continue releasing new betas ios 15 should be out here within the to the general public within the next two to three weeks at the latest um so let me know what you think in the comments down below have you found anything additional within the latest beta are you running beta on your device and how's the performance of course make sure to stay tuned for my follow-up video thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one peace